How do you go from hundreds of bone fragments to 47 skeleton bones to a missing link that supposedly lived 3 million years ago named Lucy? In school textbooks across the country, Lucy is represented as a clear ape to human transition, walking upright, holding babies, and gazing intelligently as she walks. This teaching sows seeds of doubts in the minds of Christian students, leading them to believe that the biblical creation account is based on far-fetched fantasies. But is this really true? Is Lucy really our early human ancestor? Well, let's take a look at the evidence from head to toe. Made of hundreds of bone fragments glued together to make 47 parts, even accidentally including a vertebrae from a different species, do we really know what she was? Her skull, inner ears, locking wrist, curved fingers, and short legs reveal that she was definitely an ape. But that's not what evolutionists want you to think. Shown with human expressions, eye whites, which no apes have, and walking upright, they want you to think she was on her way to becoming human. The truth is, we were created in the image of God and not in the image of apes, out of the dust of the earth and given the dominion charge to rule over all of God's creation. That's why we put apes in the zoo and not the other way around. We sing, worship, have ceremonies, pray, educate ourselves, and do so many other things that reflect the fact that we are spiritual beings and not animals. Public school students receive over 250 pages of evolution teaching in most states. Our new mobile app will arm your student with biblically-based answers using short video clips that addresses the key pillars of evolution that are taught between the 6th and 10th grades. Just download the Genesis Apologetics app from the iTunes or Google Play stores to equip your teen today.